when COVID-19 hit, we realized that we really needed to expedite these payments to get that money out into the community as soon as possible. For those of us who have the ability to give something, I think just think of your favorite charitable organization, whether it be a musical organization or a museum or environmental cause, whatever it might be, send them a few dollars. Anything can help. When COVID-19 first started hitting Hawaii, a doctor reached out to me and said, we're really short on ventilators. So I got some engineered friends together and we've been working seven days a week designing and building a ventilator here for Hawaii. Mechanically, we're not gonna have a problem with it, but as far as proving what this ventilator will do and what circumstances for what level of patient care, uh, I think it's going to do very, very well. So you are teaching your classes, but then COVID-19 happens. What happens yeah. to you? So the studio shut down, getting a lot of requests from people. Hey, how can we still take classes? We miss your classes. We want to work out. So my daughter and I decided to teach the classes together online. And in one of my classes, I decided to match the number of viewers in monetary values. We've been serving seniors, but we knew there are other vulnerable groups out there. When she mentioned her need for food for, for newborn, mothers with newborns or mothers with young children, we thought that we could help. We have so many families in need that need food. So Ham Produce and Seafood is going to be distributing over 96,000 food boxes that have local produce and frozen meat to families throughout the state. You know, what we've decided to do is to come together and really support each other uh, as an island. And so we've launched uh, efforts to increase safe places for kids. Uh, to gather and support programs of resiliency like Boys and Girls Club's leaders in, uh, in training program. With the Hawaii Farm Bureau, we wanted to think of um, innovative ways to not only feed families in need, but also to support our local economy. So we committed to purchasing uh, produce from our local farmers and uh, we are supporting our, the families in need and also about 13 to 14 farms all over the state. Donation of $10 helps us to provide food for up to 25 meals. And that's because the Hawaii Food Bank is able to stretch a donation and we're able to purchase food at a lower cost and in bulk. And so we're able to purchase the food that we need and, and get it um, in a way that we can get it out very quickly. Now with COVID-19, what has changed? For us, what's really changed is that we've seen an increase in calls around housing and unemployment issues. Um, as an organization, you know, people are facing systems that they've never encountered before, government systems and the legal systems. And so the issues that we've really seen are people not being able to apply for unemployment, especially those with language access barriers um, mm -hmm. or don't have access to computers. And we've also seen really an increase in threats of eviction or concerns of eviction. They do everything here. They do temperature checks. My son, he does um, online classes, so they allow him to get on the internet to fulfill, you know, his class schedule. Does he like it? He loves it. Just seeing the spirit of Kauai people who's been through uh, tremendous amounts of disasters and not growing tired and weary and being able to, to, to lean on complete strangers, I think that's the most inspiring thing as a mayor. We dream about being able to serve a community uh, like Hawaii. We are seeing a steady demand for help, for safety planning, uh, for information, for support as people are making, planning to make difficult decisions. They can't make those decisions just yet because they're captive at home. We think that once people are given the directive is lifted, given the permission to leave their homes, we think people are going to come running out of their homes saying, I was almost killed, my children are traumatized, I can't, we can't live like that anymore, we need help. We are very thankful about the Hawaii Community Foundation because they're a quick response to the needs of our seniors. This is one of the most critical components of, of the seniors' health is meals, hot meals, and produce, fresh produce. When you hand out the food, you see the smiles in your face. We started um, this community support meal initiative uh, when we got word about the pandemic and the, the statewide closures. Uh, we started with 200 uh, free hot meals that goes out to support our homeless population, um, families that have experienced um, job loss, uh, and of course our Katie and our Kupuna. After today's meal delivery, we have reached 
30,000 meals delivered during wow. this pandemic. All free. That is amazing.